an exciting chemistry video, this one about alkanes and alkenes. Now, as a self-confessed biologist mostly, I used to just think somebody had spout one of the words incorrectly, but no, they are two separate things. Let's explore what they are through song. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. Alkanes have single carbon carbon covalent bonds. Alkanes are C and H2M plus 2. So examples are methane, propane, and ethane. Got it? Let's do it one more time again. Just go through it. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. Which means. Alkanes have single carbon carbon covalent bonds. Alkanes are C and H2M plus 2. So examples are methane, propane, and ethane. So notice the single bonds for alkanes. What about alkenes? Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Alkenes have a double bond between the carbons. Alkenes. Have two fewer hydrogens present, so examples are propene and ethene. How splendid! Let's go again. Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Alkenes have a double bond between the carbons. Alkenes have two fewer hydrogens present, so examples are propene and ethene. Splendid! Let's just go through that again, so we're really happy. Carbon carbon single bonds. Formula. Ethane. Unsaturated. Double bombs! Your hydrogens! E and E to finish! Unsaturated! Double bombs! So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alkanes and alkenes! Very important to get the two the correct way round. So we've got Alkanes are saturated, which means we have single carbon, carbon covalent bonds. Every carbon possible will bind with a hydrogen when possible. Obviously, carbon bind to carbon. Um, it means the formula is always CnH2n plus 2. So if you've got a three carbon molecule, you know it's going to be C3H8. Splendid. And examples are methane, propane, and ethane. Notice the A and E is finished. And an alkene, slightly different. We've got this unsaturated because we have double bonds between at least one of the carbons with another carbon. Ha <laughs> ha! We've got less hydrogen atoms present, and examples are propene and ethene. So if I were to go back to this idea, alkanes cannot have any double bonds, whereas alkenes are very keen to have double bonds. Let's look at this image. So which ones are alkanes? Well, these ones, of course, no double bonds. These ones are alkenes because there is a double bond. How splendid!